Walker, that four seamer was such a great setup pitch and such a good pitch today. What was different about that pitch? Oh, it's kind of like it, it used to be a little bit or, or a little bit closer. Obviously, uh, got a couple swing and miss early in the game, and, and that kind of resets you mentally to think that, oh, I got a good one going today or, or whatever. But um, yeah, felt good. Second row on your left, Jack. When that pitch does feel good, like what what is it about the characteristics of it or how you're throwing that you think makes it effective? Um, I think it's less about that pitch more than, than it just lets me get into some counts that um, you're protecting the other stuff and, and then you can throw the bigger one with two strikes as opposed to with one strike and um, just gives you a little bit more freedom. You've talked about like the big game thing, but mm -hmm. just to have another like strong World Series start like this, like how gratifying are these moments to you? Uh, you know, I've told you guys that's kind of all I care about, but um, it it makes these it, it makes kind of the regular season worth it for me. Go to Russ in the fourth row on your left. Walker, you talked about late in the season that you didn't know at the time if you had the stuff to get guys out. Seeing what you've been able to do over the last two starts, what do you feel like you've been able to find? Um, you know, I think as kind of brutal as this to say, like it takes that adrenaline and that stuff to kind of really get me going kind of mentally. And, um, you know, I don't know if I, I wish I would have felt that all year. I could tell you, I'm so excited to pitch every single game I've ever gone out there, but there is something different in the playoffs. And, and I think at least long-term for me, like to get through this playoffs, at least in the way that I have, like gives, it's really encouraging for me personally, just because I know it's in there and I just kind of got to unlock it a little bit. Um, but that that feeling of there's an organization relying on me today to win a playoff game, I, I think is kind of the weight that I like feeling and, and kind of gets me in a, a certain place mentally that that it's kind of hard to replicate. Stay in the fourth row on your left, Walker. What's the feeling being one game away from a World Series championship? I'm excited to watch our guys go tomorrow and, and see what happens. So, um, you know, I'll be ready if there's a game seven, but my, my hope is that I don't have to throw anymore. The fourth row on your right, Walker. Hey, Walker, how are you doing? Great. Yeah. Uh, how does it feel going into um, five shutout innings in such a crucial World Series game? How does it feel before or after? During. Uh, it's great. We all – listen, man, we play professional baseball for a living. When it's going good, there's, there's not much else you'd rather do on this earth. One row behind. Walker, you had some pretty good outfield defense behind you tonight. What did you see on first on the on the Mookie play and then on on the Teoscar play uh, in that fourth inning? Yeah, you know the Mookie Mookie play was interesting. It kind of obviously the ball is spinning a little weird and, and kind of set back for a second and then made the play. Um, he's won a few Gold Gloves out there, so that that's something we kind of expect for him. And and you know Teo threw through Stanton out at home, and I got in the dugout and I said they don't know about you in New York, like. <laughs> You know, you'd think they would remember what he did when we played here in the regular season. And, um, you know, pretty cool for him to show off, you know, the other side of the ball and kind of put a perfect throw and, and Will put the tag on. So, um, yeah, that was a, a big momentum play. I, I think, obviously, the first couple innings, I was kind of going going pretty smooth. And uh, for them to get a little momentum and us shut it down that way was, was pretty cool. Anything else for Walker? I'll finish up in that same row. Yeah, Walker, just with everything that you've been through injury-wise and for the team having kind of a weird World Series in 2020, did you at any moment today kind of allow yourself to think like, wow, World Series game, Yankee Stadium, sold out crowd, like this is this is pretty special? First off, what was weird in 2020 to you? Well, just playing a World Series in like a stadium that was not, you know, oh, normal. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, I, this was my third World Series game and, and they've kind of gone similarly. Like there's a... There's a thing for me that whatever pride or whatever weight I feel seems to come out somehow beneficial for us. And, um, you know, I think this team is just different than the teams we've had before in terms of the way that we operate in there with the 26, 26 guys that are active that day. There's this bond that's kind of different. And, you know, we play for each other. That that play from Teo is, is kind of significant in terms of what I'm saying in that, like, Okay, I slipped a little. I gave up a couple hits, and we cover it. Like, I haven't been on that many teams that we cover each other the way that this team does, and um, I've also never been on a team that's up 3-0 in the World Series.